three biggest diseases that we heard that we received call, phone calls on, we received samples for in the plant and pest diagnostic clinic were brown patch, summer patch, and rust. But the first disease that I'm going to talk about is brown patch. It's one of the biggest diseases of, of cool season turfs across the United States. And it tends to be active really any time between May and September. It's most severe when we have um, extended periods of hot, humid weather, especially when we have a lot of excess moisture down in that thatch and in that crown layer. Infection often starts when nighttime temperatures exceed 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but disease really doesn't take off until we routinely have nighttime temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the other thing that we need for this fungus to, to develop in addition to those temperature requirements is we need an extended leaf wetness period. And so about 10 to 12 hours of leaf wetness is required um, for this disease to cause, to cause a lot of issues. The symptoms of, of brown patch can vary depending on mowing height. In some of our taller mowed turf, so two and a half, three inches, three and a half inches, we will get these irregularly shaped lesions on the leaves that often are kind of tan or straw colored, but they will normally have a dark brown halo um, that, that surrounds them. Now in close cut turf, we don't always get those foliar symptoms, but instead we have more of a, more of a smokering appearance. And so it'll just be a, a patch that occurs roughly six inches to maybe a couple of feet in diameter but just kind of has a, a dark gray or almost smoke colored margin around the, around the outside. Now brown patch can be thought of as a, as a disease of slow growing turf. And so one of the best ways to combat this disease is to have a good stand and the, with vigorous healthy turf. We can do that best by maintaining balanced fertility, making sure that we don't have excess nitrogen and that our phosphorus and potassium levels are up where they need to be as well. Now we do have some turf varieties out there that are tolerant to, to brown patch. However, pretty much any of our cool season turfs can get this disease. Now in certain situations, um, fungicides may be warranted and the use of strobulurin or QOI fungicides tends to, be, tends to be the most effective at controlling brown patch. However, for many landscape situations, we often don't recommend a fungicide application as once we have started to see symptoms develop in the landscape, it's going to be too late to get adequate control. And so at that point, maybe just a little bit more nitrogen in the um, on, the, on the turf to get it to speed up that growth and it will, will hopefully outgrow the disease. Now the next disease that we saw a lot of this year, especially late in the season, was summer patch. So unlike, unlike brown patch, summer patch is a fungal disease that attacks the root system. It also infects early in the spring when soil temps reach about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll, we'll, we'll start to see summer patch develop, but it's not until we get into the heat of the summer when there are other root stresses developing that we tend to see symptoms of summer patch occurring. Now symptoms of summer patch are often, as the name implies, just kind of a patch or, or a ring of dead necrotic turf. Um, as symptoms progress, that turf may collapse, but often in the center of those, uh, of those dead patches, we'll get some green growth that occurs as we have other grass moving in or other weed species moving in too. Now in thinking about summer patch control, one of the most effective things that we can do is to plant a blend of not only Kentucky bluegrass, which is highly susceptible to summer patch, but also making sure that we are using some of our tall fescues that are more resistant. Additionally, fungicide applications can be effective with summer patch, but again, control needs to occur early in the season, right around when those soil temps are beginning to warm up. If we wait until later in the season when we're actually seeing symptoms occur, we're not going to get good control for, for the summer patch disease. The other thing that we can really do to, to increase turf resilience to summer patch is to make sure that we are doing some deep infrequent watering. What this does is it stimulates the roots to grow deep 
and thus when we do have the, the stresses that occur later in the season due to poor root growth or stress um, or drought, well, we have a more vigorous root system that will hopefully allow that turf to outgrow the um, summer patch. And the final disease that I was going to talk about today is rust. And so we had a lot of rust come in um, late on many types of turf this year. Rust, uh, rust occurs on turf every year. Um, it is, it's also caused by a fungus and it tends to be favored by moderate temperatures kind of in the mid 60s up to um, into the low 80s with an extended leaf wetness period. But we don't see rust causing major problems until a lot of our turfs, um, until we reach the late, the late, late summer, early fall period, when a lot of our cool season turfs are under, under a lot of other stresses due to drought, compaction, um, heat stress, and just over in general have slow growth. Now, one of the nice things about about rust on turf is that it's more, much more of a nuisance than an actual, um, than causing long-term detrimental effects to the turf. Yes, it may transfer to your, to your shoes, to your pants, to your mowers, and as you walk through the landscape, you may get some orange powder on your shoes from those rust pathogens. However, it is rare that the rust fungus will actually kill, will actually kill your turf stand. And so, Similar to some of the other diseases, one of the best ways to combat this is really just to maintain a vigorous, healthy stand of turf throughout the year. The stronger this turf is, um, when, it, when we reach some of those periods of some of those higher stress periods, the more resilient it will be to not only rust, but also summer patch and brown patch.